If you're anything like me as a watch enthusiast, you are always looking for good quality straps. But those quality straps can often be very, very expensive. Well, thanks to my buddy Dave at Just The Watch, I've been turned on to a fantastic watch strap maker who makes great straps at an actually affordable price. I know, I think these might be unicorn straps for us watch enthusiasts. Why don't we take a look and you be the judge. Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Alton. I'm so glad you could join me today. I want to do you the biggest favor in the world because I have found an amazing watch strap company that seems to make some pretty great stuff at a very affordable price. Before me, I have one, two, three, four, five, six straps. Five of them are of the same variety. Uh, this one's a little bit different. So let's talk about these ones. Then we'll talk about this one. Before we go though, I need to let you know, these straps are 35 US dollars. This one here is 40 US dollars. This one is Horween. So I'm really excited to show these to you. Won't be a long review. I did get turned on to these by my buddy Dave over at Just The Watch. You can go and check out his review of some of these straps. And the company is Nomad Watchworks. And I did purchase these myself. They did not come from Nomad. So this will be a completely unbiased review, unlike all my other reviews, which are fully biased reviews. So I went ahead and I purchased two green, two blue, one brown, and I did so because I have a hard time figuring out which size strap that I want to purchase. Now here we have the green. This is called the Emery Signature Pueblo Leather Strap. This one is a beautiful green color with a green stitching, green edging. And then on the back, you have a Zermatt calf leather lining, which they claim is waterproof. Well, it's not, it's, it's leather. It's water resistant at best. So I've got 20 millimeters and I've got 22 millimeters. I'm gonna show you on them on the watches. The thickness on these is three millimeters. The length is 75 on this side, 125 on this side. So it's a pretty great length. I'm gonna put it on my eight inch wrist and you're gonna see it wears really, really well. I have a number of straps here. All of them are very well done. The stitching is straight. It is quick release. I love that it's numbered with a 20 there. So when you go in your strap case, you know exactly what you're looking for. The buckle on this side isn't too exciting. It's not signed or anything, but really I don't care a whole lot about seeing the signature of the strap company on my watch. So there's a double rolled line on the keeper, which is a nice touch. And there is a rolled line on both sides of the stitching. It's got a crackly texture to it, which I quite like. It's, it's almost suede like slightly, but it's not, it's a little bit different. It's almost like the color doesn't fully come through. Let's check out this strap here. Now this one is the Hortensia blue and I really, really like this one. As we bend the strap, you can see the crackles come out just a little bit more. There's almost a little bit of a white that comes out of it. I have been wearing this on a couple watches, actually these two here and this strap I've tried on a few different watches. Before we go any further, I wanna show you this. This is a strap from another company. This strap has the look kind of like this. It's a little more aggressive, but I was really excited to buy the strap a few years ago when I bought it. But when I actually got it in hand, I found out that it's cheap. It feels like foam and I know it's cheap because one of them came damaged and the black piece here had, had flaked off and it was white below. So super, super cheap. This strap costs the same, if not more than these straps. And there's no way it's a, a top grain leather. So I won't name the watch company, but just to show you that for the same amount of money, you can get so much more from Nomad Watchworks. So I'm gonna throw this Hortensia blue strap on my wrist for a second, 20 centimeter wrist. And look at that. I can use both keepers 
plenty of tuck. I'm on the third hole. If I swell up a bit, I've been using the second hole, still plenty of tuck. And man, doesn't that look good. It's got a bit of a lighter blue stitching and it has almost a green stitching on the side. It's just a, a greeny blue, slightly different shade, which I like very, very dynamic. I have it here on my Hamilton Aviation. And here is the brown version on my Hamilton Khaki Day Date. And boy, is that a killer look or what? And here's a 22 millimeter green strap on my Orient Defender with the field watch style, this rugged be blasted watch it just really seems to suit it very, very well. Very, very comfortable. The 22 millimeter definitely has more presence but is very, very comfortable, very, very flexible. Almost an olive green on the edging there. You can pick this up and I think you can see this better. Okay, now here we have the N2W Ammo Horween leather strap in Dublin Navy. It almost reads black to some degree, but it is in fact a navy with a navy stitching and navy edging on the back. It appears that it is folded over and you can see that it is stamped Horween USA there on the bottom. Has lots and lots of texture to it, very pliable, very soft as Horween is, very, very thick gigantic holes. Overall, a very nicely done strap. It's 80 millimeters on this side and 125 millimeters on this side. It's four millimeters thick. And of course it has the quick release spring bars on it as well. This is the kind of leather that's really going to patina well over time and wear well. In fact, I think these will as well. I think these are going to pick up the oils from your skin and they're going to get maybe a little bit of a glossy look to go with that rough texture and it's going to look really good. But Horween is one of the top leathers absolutely in the world. You can see how pliable it is. There's just one issue with this one. Holy cow, look at that buckle. Just for reference, let's put that buckle down on my 42 millimeter field watch. <laughs> it's huge. Why don't we, uh, we'll try it on the Defender because it's a 22 mil strap and we'll see how it looks. So here we have it on the Orient Defender and I have to say it looks pretty great until you get to that buckle. It suits it pretty well. I would love to see a taper on this. I always appreciate a taper, but that's just not the way this style goes. Also, it's really thick, so I think this is going to rub over time on the case, even though the Defender does have a bit of a notch there to accommodate a larger strap. Throwing it on the wrist, let's check it out and see how it looks. There we go, on my 20 centimeter, eight inch wrist. Looks pretty great. I think what I'm gonna do is try and find a different buckle for this. Also, the second keeper for me is just not necessary. Okay, not only are these watches vegetable tan leather or Horween leather of fantastic condition and well done, they also come with a few goodies. If you want, tick that box and you can get free spring bars with them. You don't need them because they have quick release on all of these. But I don't know about you, I'm always running out of 20 millimeter spring bars. So I clicked that button on every watch and they threw in two packages. Also, they threw in this polishing cloth, which is great. You can never have too many polishing cloths. I think this one was a nice black color in a nice Nomad Watchworks pouch here. And they gave me two tools, which is crazy because they're all quick release, but I actually use this tool to take off the straps that were on the watches before I swapped them out. So it is actually needed unless your entire collection is quick release, which I'm sure it is not. So here's what I'm thinking. Check out Nomad Watchworks because they have some great deals, but I will tell you one thing, one little caveat. I'm in Canada. They charged $40 for duty to ship it to Canada. I was not happy about that. So you have to factor that into the price. If you're in the US, unless you spend over $800, I believe, you don't have to pay duty. Of course, 
I'm not a tax lawyer, so that's all I've heard from previous forums. But in Canada, I had to pay customs and duty. It was about 20 bucks in taxes, 20 bucks in fees. Was not happy about it, but it is what it is, as they say. So check them out. I really recommend them. Check out Dave's video for different kinds of straps from this company. And uh, if you feel like liking and subscribing, of course, go ahead and do that. It really helps the channel when you hit that like button. It really helps the channel when you subscribe. And I really appreciate it because I'm a very insecure person and it really goes a long way to propping up my fragile ego. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great day.